the wheel. I actually have my girlfriend here. Okay, walking around with a string between your ass cheeks in public is so gross on so many levels. Like, yeah, sure, honey, you wanna get clicks. I wanna get clicks. Let's keep the clothes on on YouTube, right? You know, I've been working since I graduated college in 1993. And I've been working hard my whole life, getting up every day, going to work. Um, I got that part, so? <laughs> so? I'm just, I'm just trying to explain to you then what's going on with my investments that I say are Are you going to lose your money? Pretty no, much, no, yeah. No, 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 no. So, okay. What I'm trying to say is um, I wanted to talk to you about how you feel. Um, you know, about signing a prenup. You can see she's slowly dying inside. You can take that as an insult, as a form of uh, you're not trusting me and you have your feelings hurt. But given how divorce rates work, given how people change in this day and age especially, with so many options and so many temptations, a prenup is. It is. Now, now here's the deal with that. Let me let me explain. Mm. I I'm super in love with you. You're super in love with me. We're both very in love. Okay. But like, if um, what I'm saying is uh, uh what am I saying? <laughs> uh, what a um, bitch. Pussy. I, for, I forgot who it was, but um, shut up. Like it Fuck hurts you. me. Like you thinking I'm marrying you, like to to divorce. First of all, like, yes. I would, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I think we'll be together forever. I think we're gonna last forever. I know we are no, both you're in not. love, and we're gonna. So last why forever. do you need a? She's way too pretty, and he's too much of a simp for this relationship to actually work. They have to be on the same level. You can see how laid back and relaxed and serious she is. And he's just stumbling all over himself like an absolute moron. Uh, this relationship is not gonna last. Oh my god, this is so heartbreaking. This is... I've never encountered that. Like, this literally never happens to every single guy that has ever lived on this planet. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that's his loss. Exactly. Yeah. How will he ever cope with the fact that you didn't? He rejected you. Wow. Adrian Steelbreakers. Oh. Someone who doesn't have a J O B. Yeah, someone who doesn't have a job. Is I don't have a job. You don't have a job. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Delicious. You're broke when I meet you. You don't stand a chance because. What's broke to you? What is defined broke? You make less than double what I make. That being said, if you are broke and I choose to deal with you, I will belittle you. It is what it is. And I reserve the right to do that. So if you make less than double of what she makes, you're broke. She, on the other hand, she's not broke. And by the way, she deserves to be treated like a princess because she is a princess. So she deserves everything. Just narcissism. Just give it in, boys. Just come on. Like frisbees, everyone should give me a princess treatment. It's fuck absolutely. Oh, are you crazy? Five thousand dollars or one night with me? Probably five thousand dollars right now. Five thousand dollars. Uh, lame. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> what well, duh? Five thousand dollars or one night with me? Uh, damn. You, you do not have to turn around like that if you don't have an ass. You turn around like that, you better have you better be packing. 
And this girl is not packing. The other one was. Well, obviously she's doing this for clicks and online clout. So, uh, eh. No. Can I suck when you think? No. No. Long. Stop! That is f***ing her off! It's long. It is f***ing her off! Stop! No, I don't. No. No. If it was me in 2020, 22, I would have probably done it. I don't fall into traps anymore. <laughs> He's obviously copying Andrew Tate and saying haram and all that stuff. He would literally do every single thing that that woman asked. And she doesn't even have to ask. He's gonna ask her, hey, can I do this and this? Yeah, sure. Um, I probably will not text you back. Oh, I mean, at least he's honest, mom. That's a good quality yeah, in someone. Quality, being honest. Do you like those huh? Do you like those people? No, I, I don't really see relationships in that way. So you just want to pump and dump? No, I don't sleep around, really. So you want to date my mom? No. You want to marry her? No. Uh, what's happening? Huh? You want to take it for my daughter? I would prefer this on my age. How old are you? Old enough. They do this for clicks, but come on, granny. It's time to die, not to date. A year ago, when my boyfriend proposed to me, I was so excited. But five months till the wedding, which the wedding was supposed to be tomorrow, uh, <laughs> he told me that he was having doubts and wanted to postpone the wedding. He couldn't really tell me why or when he wanted to postpone it to. He wanted to fuck other women, that's it. So I ended up just calling it off. He's trying to, he's been trying to contact me here and there, but um, I haven't been really responding. So I was just wondering why he wants to keep me in his life but not commit. I specialize in that. Yes. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Because I've been one my whole life. Right. <laughs> I like to have certain things done by a certain age at a certain time. It's your plan. It's your business. Some of you want to have children before 30. Some of you want to be married and all like you. And it's, it's perfectly fine for you to want what you want. Men don't have a biological clock. We have a financial clock. And he's his ticket, and he don't have it together yet. And he does not see a way that he can provide, protect, and take care of you. He don't see the clear path. So now he got a... This is such a bullshit statement. He just wants to sleep around. That's it. Other than that, he didn't say, oh, I don't have enough money to marry you. So I'm not gonna marry you. Like, what? They already want to get married. He wants to sleep around. That's fine. Just go and do it. I've had a lot of people in my life tell me that my biggest downfall is that I'm just too much to handle. And I let a complete <laughs> stranger almost convince me that everybody's right. Up for myself today, and I had to because I let a man make me feel inferior. Mm. As the beetle. I let a man make me feel guilty for mm -hmm. me knowing more than him, and I had to stand up for myself. And then now that I think about it, I'm like, should I have done that? That's bullshit. If everyone is asking you and telling you, hey, you're being a bitch. You are kind of unreasonable. I don't really want to be around you. They are right. If everyone is keeps telling you that, they are kind of correct because you are the common denominator. You and your behavior. Each do you want your guy to be? So, 20 to 25. 20 to 25? Yeah. Married, does it matter? No, not married. What race? Could be either. White, black, or Asian. Is there light skin? Okay. Brianna, you like uh, light skin? White guys, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll do white. white. We'll do white. There's no <laughs> in between. Minimum height. We could do like 5'11", 5'10". 5'10"? Yeah. Obese? No, he has to be fit. Minimum income, like what's the least he can make? 500k. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 200 Yeah. 200 so 500 is pushing it, right? Alright, so your man falls in at 0 0.023%. So you're pretty delusional. You're not gonna find a guy like that. I'm delusional. That I'm living in a fing fantasy. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's lovely. That's lovely. You gotta lower your standards a little bit. But why is that? Guys like that don't exist. Almost. She knows that. It's just for the clicks, for the views. When women say, oh, 500,000, oh, no, oh, okay, let's go with 200,000. They're just spoiled. They will end up marrying, if they get married, they will marry a guy making 40, 50K a year. And that's fine. It's just like they have no sense of what actual money is. 
and what it takes to make that money, especially in a, such a high competitive cities like the ones that you find in America. Come on. You see me, this is big. Yes, period. I hope you're not lying to your followers talking about you driving a Mercedes Benz. It's an Amazon van. Put your best on, get to work. What are you doing? It's a joke, it's funny, but this is how people project on the internet. Hey, look at me, I'm living this incredibly lifestyle. No, you're not living that. 